Hi everyone, I'm Camille at Marula and today I'll be working on a goat's milk soap. I decided that I wanted to play around with some color and fragrance so that's what I've done today. I started by measuring out and mixing my hard uh, oils and my liquid oils. Then before I started working I let them come to room temperature mixed in my lye water which is also at room temperature if you work with them any warmer you can cook your goat's milk and end up with brown batter and i didn't want that i wanted my colors to be nice and bright so then i added my fragrance oil and my goat's milk and brought it all to trace and then i'm going to split it off into three amounts i've got two smaller ones and my main batter So for this um, recipe, I used some Aztec Gold Mica, some Majestic Violet Mica, and some charcoal powder. I like to use my stick blender to mix my colors in, so I'm just going to give the powders a little mix in to damp them so they don't um, fluff up when I use the stick blender. And then I go ahead and mix it uh, with that. I'm working from the lighter colors to the darker colors so I don't have to clean my stick blender off in between um, and I don't end up muddying the colors. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do a simple drop pour. So I'm going to uh, drop my um, smaller colors into my main batter. Um, the gold I saved just a little bit behind and set aside and then I went ahead and poured it into the mold, gave it a little swish and then I'm going to take the gold batter that I have left in my measuring cup and kind of splatter it across the top. After that, I take my uh, coffee stir stick and kind of drag it through those blobs and that gives them kind of, some of them kind of heart-shaped um, swirls and kind of just, yeah, neat looking swooshes. And if you can hear that, I apologize. My dog is snoring in the background. <laughs> then I've gone ahead and let it cure overnight. Uh, this one I did in the garage. It's a little cool out there right now. Uh, so I didn't want it, like I said earlier, heating up and cooking my goat's milk and discoloring um, my nice colors. So yeah, I popped it out into the cool garage and let it sit overnight. And then I unmolded it trimmed off the edges and then I'll go ahead and cut it into the same size bars as my regular goat's milk which are actually kind of enormous they're probably at or over eight and a half ounces a bar uh, once they dry um, once they sit for a few weeks and dry they're probably still at or near uh, eight and a half ounces You can see there that um, that swirl pattern. I really I like the drop pour in and of itself. I think it's really pretty. Um, but then when you drag a spoon through it, you get this kind of really neat um, marbly look that I'm kind of falling in love with. So, and that's the final size and look of those bars. I liked the way that the gold turned out. Um, that's kind of what I was going for, for my glitzy goat. And then I'm just going to tidy up the edges so that they're more enjoyable to use the first time. Otherwise, when they get nice and hard and dry, those edges can be a little bit sharp. And they're finished. 
I probably could have waited just a little bit longer because you can see there are, um, if, you, if you see the little bubbles there, um, I feel like if I would have just waited a little bit longer, that would have rectified that issue. But other than that, they turned out um, just the way that I wanted to. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day.